Welcome back to Messed Adventures of a Schizophrenic. I am RG Tanner, and this is my channel where I explore what it's like to be a schizophrenic in the modern day world. So for today, we're talking about medications. That's right, medications, because more people than you think you know are on them. Most people try to keep it very hush-hush. Most people are like, oh, I don't want to say that I'm on XYZ medication, but the fact of the matter is, is that sometimes it is extremely important to be on certain medications for mental health. I know that I would probably be sitting in a psych ward in restraints right now if it wasn't for my medications. I owe a lot to my medications and to the psychiatrist who prescribes them to me. Um, if my doctor's watching this, shout out to him, right? And, you know, it's all about finding the right balance, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the comical end of it all, because some things can go really right, and some things can go really wrong. For example, when I was about 16, 15 years old, I was put on Valium for anxiety, because before a certain age, someone cannot be diagnosed with schizophrenia, so I had anxiety, borderline personality disorder, I had depression, you know, I was diagnosed with everything but schizophrenia, and that was the one thing I needed to be diagnosed with. So, anyway, they put me on Valium, and I saw myself sitting in the middle of a room with three witches dancing around me, trying to put me into a cauldron. They're trying to cook me. I think that they were the three witches from Hocus Pocus. I can't be 100% sure on that. Anyway. It was terrifying at the moment. Don't get me wrong. It was terrifying at the moment. But when I look back at that, I'm like, oh wow, I was high. I was high off my rocker and I was seeing witches. Another instance is that I, I take this one drug called Sephiris. It's a relatively new generation antipsychotic and it dissolves under your tongue, which is a new presentation. Anyway, it, one of the things that it can cause is acute hunger, and so you take it, and then you're just hit with the extreme desire just to cram as much food in your face as possible. And when I was first put on this, I was still living with my parents, and I remember one night, I decided, I think I'm going to get a little bit of cheese. I go downstairs, I am stoned off my gourd, and I go downstairs and I cut off pieces of cheese. In my mind, it had been three slices, but I had actually cut up the entire block. And my mom came downstairs because she heard a thud. And what had happened is that I had gotten so tired, I thought to myself, I'm just going to sit down here on the kitchen floor and take a little bit of a rest. So my mom heard me plop on the floor, and she came downstairs, and there I was, knife still in hand, just wanting my cheese. And I was just like, Mom, Mom, please just let me have the cheese. And she's like, no, no, you don't get to have that much. And she sent me upstairs with an apple, three pieces of cheese, and a peanut butter. So there can be some hysterical things that ensue. I know that my husband and I have had nights where I am so giggly, I am just laughing, and sometimes I'm laughing so hard that I can't go to sleep and our sides are hurting because we've just... Let, uh, let go of all abandon and we've just started making light of everything. And when you're properly medicated and you have the ability to separate yourself from some of the diversity that it faces, you have the ability to say, a lot of this is actually really fun. Because if you can't laugh at yourself, then you have a life full of massive disappointments. So, you know, I hope that you can find humor in your day-to-day -day life. If you are a mentally ill person, try to look for the funny things. Try to remember that it is the silly things that give life meaning worth living. And, you know, they say laughter is the best medicine, and that's definitely true, and I can say that as a person who is on many medications, that laughter is definitely the best. So if you're going to derive anything from this video, I hope that it's, you should never be ashamed to have to take medication. Lots of people are on medication. It's okay. It's really no big deal. And it's just a step towards a healthier life. And if your doctor says it's right for you, then it's right for you. And 
also, you know, just try to find the humor in some of these situations. There's always a reason to laugh. And I have found that if I'm not laughing, I'm often crying, so I'd rather be laughing. And I hope you could find some humor in this video and realize that, you know, in, in my misadventures, I have had a lot of laughs and it has actually been a great deal of fun. And I just hope you come with me on this journey. If you want to check out my day-to-day -day, um, exploration, so to speak, you can check out my blog at www.wordpress. Sorry, www.misadventures.wordpress.com, and you can check out my Instagram at rgtanner713. And I want to give a shout out to my dear friend Rachel Pennington, and she has been there with me. I've known her since I was eight, and she was five. We are literally friends from the sandbox, and I just want to give her a shout out for being one of my biggest supporters and just say thank you. It's been great and you know she's always pushing me to do my best and I just want her to know that her efforts don't go unnoticed. So Rachel, you know, thank you so much for being my friend. And um, if you have any questions, <coughs> any questions whatsoever about me, about schizophrenia, about medications, pretty much anything I'm happy to answer uh, just comment below and be sure to hit the little subscribe button I don't know if it's over here or over here but you tell me which one's over there and hit the little subscribe button and please subscribe to RG Tanner not misadventures of a schizophrenic somehow the two have separated and created their own individual entities so please follow me at RG Tanner on YouTube and I hope to see you guys soon